So about nine years ago, I purchased the Garmin Edge 500. This was a great little unit. Uh, it did last quite some time. It was lacking some features. One of the big things that always irked me was how Garmin played with other companies. They don't make it very easy. So now I need a new computer and I went and bought the Garmin Edge 130 because I wanted something similar in size, small, not like these big huge computers that are out there today. And this just seemed to flip the bill. Uh, it is perfect in every way. The hardware is incredible. The navigation works great. The one problem is though, it still don't play well with others. It's very difficult to get the routes from Strava onto this unit so you could use the navigation. Really, that's my only complaint about this. Believe it or not, it's that great. The battery life lasts over 12 hours. Uh, it has all the normal standard features that you would find on the yeah, SE. It's Garmin always made amazing hardware. Their software is just blah. But let me show you how to transfer a route from Strava to the Garmin Edge 130. So you can see I'm at my Strava account. Uh, one of the problems that I have with the Edge 130 is creating a route in Strava and sending it over to a course in Garmin. I was able to get it to work, but at the time you're watching this video, maybe they updated it to where it actually works properly. So here we're gonna see, I am going to click and create a route. I am located in New York City, so I'm just gonna create a nice little route here around Brooklyn. I'll go up and down and around. Oh, there we go. All right, so now I'm gonna save the route. I'm going to name the route YouTube, and we will save it there. And then I click on View My Route, and here we have the route. Not a bad 20 mile route. So now I'm gonna export the GPX file, that'll be in my downloads. And then I'm gonna shoot over to Garmin Connect. So here you can see the dashboard. What I'm going to do is go to training, then courses, and I'm going to import my route. So we got this, we go to downloads. I'm gonna upload that YouTube GPX file. And it is done. It's a road cycling route. All right, I'm gonna name it. That was always a little annoying. I had to name it twice, but it is what it is. And then I'm gonna save new course. So now the course is saved. So here's where things get wonky. So you can see I'm going to send it to my device, my Edge 130, and boom. I get this. Uh, I've tried this on multiple computers. I can't get it to work. Maybe it's only for Windows, I'm not really sure, or Internet Explorer. But what I do is I just go over to my phone. So here you can see I'm in the Garmin app. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to More, and then I'm gonna click on Training. And then from there you click on Courses. I'm gonna click on the course YouTube, then I'll click on the top right, and then send to device, and I'm going to select my Garmin Edge 130. Now that we have that all set up, we're gonna go back to our Garmin Edge 130. I'm gonna hold down this menu button. We're gonna go down to navigation settings, hit this enter button on the bottom. We go to courses, and here you can see there's our YouTube loading up the course should be a nice little course around Brooklyn let's just check out the summary or the map let's look at the map so there we go that's our course you can see it doesn't show any of the streets which is usually fine for me um, one other quick thing I want to show you is the back bottom button on the bottom here we could go down you could scroll down you could see the missed calls has the weather so it's pretty good overall. If you just care about the basic cadence reading, speed, things like that, I would say this is an amazing computer. Uh, Garmin, I do believe, makes the best hardware out there for cycling components. Um, I have been doing this crazy 
you know, transferring routes. I'm a big navigation guy because I like to explore. I've been doing this for about nine years with Garmin's crazy wacky way. So I will be switching away from Garmin. They have other units that you could just literally create right on your phone the route and sync it straight to the computer, such as Wahoo. Um, if you like this video, leave me any comments or subscribe. I greatly appreciate it and stay safe.